Hi, this is Mr. McGovern, uh, and the third video in the diffraction grading and interference pattern series. And so we're going to introduce you to what a diffraction grading uh, actually is, and you can see a picture of one in front of you right now. So up until now we've been talking about double slits, and double slits are just what they say they are, they're two small slits. Um, light goes can go through the two slits, it diffracts, which means it spreads out, as the diagram on the right shows, and it interferes, and you get bright spots and dark spots. You can do something similar um, instead of two actual slits, you can just have two speakers beside each other and the, the sound will um, spread out and interfere and you get loud spots and quiet spots. A diffraction grating, um, it's much harder to see the slits because often with diffraction grating you get far um, many more slits per millimetre. So in the example in front of us you can see there's 600 lines per millimetre, 600 slits per millimetre. Now you can't see that with the naked eye. How would they make that? Well, there's a couple of ways they make it. One way is a machine um, just makes very fine scratches, very, very fine scratches, and you can get uh, many of those per millimetre. The other way they can do it is effectively chemically, where they change the properties of the material um, every fraction of a millimetre, and that's what makes the slits, because it lets light through, and then they change the property of the material, and it doesn't let light through, and then it lets light through, and it doesn't let light through, and that's how you make up slits. So diffraction gratings um, have many slits, and often the slits are much closer together. And so you can see a diagram here, you still get an interference pattern. You get still diffraction through the, um, the slits and you still have path differences, right? light has to travel um, different distances from each slit and so you get places where um, the path difference is whole numbers of wavelengths and that means you get constructive interference bright spots and places where it's dark as well. Right. So the difference between the two slits or the double slit and the diffraction grating is shown in this diagram here. Um, and you can see that this just goes from one slit down to seven slits, but the more slits you have, the clearer the interference pattern is. So why is that? So when you've got more slits, you've got more light coming through, more diffraction happening, um, and you've got more chances for constructive interference to happen. So the bright spots you can see um, down as you get towards the seven slits down there get brighter and brighter. Now the same um, sort of effect happens, and it's probably more important on the in between the bright spots. Okay, so you've got more chances with more slits for destructive interference to happen, and that really cancels the light out properly. Compared to a double slit, you can you can still see some light in between the bright spots. When you get to more and more slits, um, it's clearly dark in between. There's full destructive interference. And so that's one of the main reasons we use um, diffraction gratings, is you get a much clearer interference pattern. The other thing is, um, it didn't wasn't the case with these because these seven, you know, the seven slits versus the double slits here, it looks like they're all um, the same distance apart for the slits. But with proper diffraction gratings, you get many more slits per millimeter, and so you get a much more spread out diffraction pattern as well, which we'll go into once we meet the formulas in the uh, next video.